Stop sending me junk mail! Stop wasting trees! Stop sending me junk mail! Stop! No more junk mail! No! I'm Pat, this is Pat Talks to Parakeets. These are my two parakeets, Cotton and Sky, and they don't care what you... You ever get that uneasy feeling in your stomach and then people just tell you it's all in your head? Well, the good folks down in Tennessee today felt something real and it definitely wasn't in their heads. A 4.4 magnitude earthquake and people on social media immediately went to town over making jokes about the event. Imagine that. Oh. Fortunately, the scale of the quake was considered minor and no one was injured. Wait, what? No injuries? Sky, did you pick this story? We need death and destruction, all right? There's no injuries at all? So, uh, all right, well, whatever. How is this even a story? You know who keeps on avoiding jail time? Our president! You know who won't avoid jail time? Basically anybody who isn't Donald Trump. Today, Michael Cohen, the former lawyer of Mr. Orangehead, was actually sentenced to three years behind bars. Or, or is it glass these days? I'm not sure about those places. I'm, I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. After all, I'm not Trump. But that's blackmail and extortion are all part of politics, so what's the big deal? I think we can all see here who the fall guy is, and I'm sure we'll even see more scapegoats in the not too distant future. Remember folks, Russia, Russia, Russia. Are you guys okay? I know they're a scary band. Cannibal Corpse guitarist, Pat O'Brien went out with a blaze, or at least he tried his hardest to do so. Known for such heartwarming classics as I Come Blood, Fucked with a Knife and Sentenced to Burn, the cannibal corpse guitarist was found breaking and entering into his neighbor's home, allegedly throwing down one of the occupants and demanding to meet Chaluthu. However you pronounce that. Fun fact, Pat, whose name I happen to share, he had military grade flamethrowers in his house, which no doubt contributed to the crazy ass blaze that firefighters had to deal with at O'Brien's house. He's been charged with burglary and being a douchebag. Ah. Pat, I remember back in the day when we used to play with matches. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Speaking of setting things on fire, today's show is brought to you by the Tesla lighter. It's windproof. So you only have to try one time to smoke a bunch of meth, burn your house down, and commit insurance fraud. It's got a button on the side to click, just like a computer mouse. And with just one click, you can set basically anything you want on fire, like important documents, random plant materials, or even candles. That's right, the power of fire in your very hands, folks. Have you been rubbing sticks together to boil your noodles? No longer. This lighter will solve all your pyrotechnic needs. And the best part, it's USB rechargeable. Yes, that's right, it very well could be the last lighter you ever buy. You know, until you either lose it or one of your bum friends steals it. But it'll be cool while you still have it. Think about it, the power of fire in your hands. Just one click away. So check out the affiliate link below to buy the Tesla lighter. Makes for a really hot gift. Cotton, did you write that joke? Carson Wentz, the Eagles quarterback who didn't play in the greatest Super Bowl ever, may not be able to play during this Sunday's game against the Los Angeles Rams. This has something to do with a back injury. Seriously, Wentz, how bad can a back injury actually be? <laughs> And I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief that any doubts as to Foles' ability to rise as an underdog no longer needs to be questioned. Looks like the Eagles season of 6-7 to seven hasn't really worked out that much for the avian-based team. I know you guys like the Eagles. So I guess we'll just have to give the coach that good old benefit of the doubt and hopefully keep the Eagles' playoffs hopes alive. Because who doesn't want to keep one team Endlessly winning Super Bowls over and over and over and over. <laughs> well, that's all for today, folks. Smash that like button, subscribe, and press the notification bell to receive all my latest posts. This is Pat Talks to Parakeets. Stay chirpy.